My name is Lauren Murphy. I'm a professional MMA fighter and I train at Gracie Baja Katy and at Gracie Baja West Chase. Because that underhook is going to set up the clinch. Five feet underhook. I can post the hitch. So you, you're going to frame here. So from here, post to the clinch. Okay. Sit, drive forward, straight over to the top. Okay, okay. we're going to work on that today, though. I started in Alaska, uh, up in Anchorage, and I started with gi jiu jitsu just because uh, I wanted to start taking martial arts. and. Up at the gym there, um, I met a lot of other MMA fighters, and to me, they were just really fascinating. So I started training in MMA about three or four months after starting jiu-jitsu, and about two months later, um, Professor Pat became my MMA coach. So that's, that's how we met, and we've worked together ever since, and he's, he's really a phenomenal coach. I met Lauren Murphy. Um, she just, I was, I was teaching MMA, and she's just one of those uh, fighters or people that just wandered in one day. Um, you know, I, I believe she started as a fan or just saw it and just wanted to try it. Um, I can honestly tell you from our first class, there's no way that we saw where we are today happening. She just wanted to learn it. And then once she began learning it, she wanted to try a fight. Getting that habit of hitting that five movements. Doesn't matter what five, I don't care. Hit, hit five, just for practice. It's a good habit, it's a good strategy, a good idea. He taught me that hard work pays off and that, you know, when you really believe in yourself, you can be unstoppable. And uh, really the sky is the limit. So basically we've just got like a, a really good thing going on here. I have other really great coaches and some really great teammates here and um, I'm just going to give it everything I got. In any given area there's always going to be somebody that's better than me at any one given thing but what Professor Pat and Professor Alex are trying to teach me is that I can be really well rounded and, and that's going to be like the winning game plan all the time is, is to be a really well rounded mixed martial artist not just like a really good striker and not just really good on the ground but really good everywhere and able to transition um, from one game to the next in the middle of the fight. Excellent. Hold your position in the drill so you get your weight distributed at the very end. Tell me about the shark, shark tank. <laughs> Uh, the shark tanks are designed to push you past your limits and um, they're not only a great cardio workout because in a shark tank you become more tired than you ever knew that you could be, but they're also designed to push you past your limit mentally so that the hardest thing about fighting should be stuff that happens to you in practice and then when you get in there in the ring and you're facing your opponent, there's nothing that they can possibly throw at you that you haven't seen before and dealt with while you were exhausted mentally and physically. So I've never had a fight yet that was harder than the, the shark tanks that I've had in practice before going into the fight. And it's always paid off. Um, in fights, I tend to stay really calm. And I've been in some bad positions in fights, but it's never been worse than, than where my teammates have had me in practice. So um, what that teaches you is to keep fighting no matter what, and it's never over until it's over. What is your favorite um, late, lately, I've been really all about the submissions, I think, because like if, you know, if you end a fight with a knockout, people can say that you just got a lucky punch. Or if you get a TKO, you know, your opponent might say that um, the ref stopped it too soon. Or if it goes to a decision, you know, your opponent can always say that they actually won that fight. But if you end a fight with submission and your opponent taps out, then your opponent is the one that is asking the ref to stop the fight. And it's your opponent that's saying that they've had enough and that they give up. And so I think by making people tap out, that's really like the ultimate act of dominance. Like you are actually forcing your opponent to ask to be let out of the cage with you. How far are you going to take it? As far as I can. I'm going to run it till the wheels fall off. <laughs> 